Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn about how to connect to a MongoDB database using the Mongoose. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. First of all, you have to install the Mongoose for your Next.js project. Okay. After the installation, you have to create a new file in the utils that is mongoose.js. So this is the file code. Let me go and check this one. This is a mongoose.js in the utils mongoose.js, right? So here we have a mongoose connect DB. Here we have a connection string URL. You need to pass over here. Then you use new URL parser, use unified topology. If it is connected, then mongodb connected. If something goes wrong, then error connecting the mongodb. Okay. And here export default connected DB. And in the pages, .js here we are calling the connected DB part so here we have a connect DB and here we are just calling one of the customer models so here we have creating the model over here that is name age string and export that customers okay after that we are finding that one that if if the data is connected then I am going to fetch the data using the created model so here I'm using the customers model to find the data okay if the data is there then it console log the data return the data else the data fetching issue will come up over here then calling this fetch data if i go to the cons console and here you can see that the mongodb is connected and the data is coming over here so that means the database is connected successfully and the record is successfully fetched if i go to that database over here here you can see where we have mongo and here you can see that we have a customer and here you can see the one record is there right so if you want to add multiple, you can also add the multiple. Let me view this document. The document is there. Or you can go with insert document. So here you can put your name or whatever the parameters coming over here. That is if I go over here, here we have a name, age and email. So name, you will add the Tom over here. Tom. Here just I'm adding to, to check whether the data is coming or not. 23 and here we go with the email, right? So here we will go with the email. Okay. At the rate gmail.com whatever you can add the mail over here and just save it okay let's try to restart this one and check the data is fetching or not so here we go with this one and here you can see mongodb connecting and the two records has been fetched successfully right so that means mongodb connected successfully okay any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day